Welcome to our new video NAR on the Delmeyer HD IR camera. Today I would like to show you how easily and conveniently you can install and configure the camera. One of the most remarkable features of our HD IR camera is that we have not fitted many small LEDs arranged circularly around the lens. We have integrated three high performance LEDs in the camera instead. These high performance LEDs provide us with an extraordinary scene lighting capabilities. This means we can illuminate a wide area, spot area or a mixture of the two can be defined by the user. We have now set our HD infrared camera in a permanent position in the back garden of the private residence. The next step is to carry out a rough alignment of the camera. To do this, we turn the lowest screw in the wall arm to swivel the camera. And in the next step, we turn the lateral screw, which allows us to tilt the camera into the desired area. This completes the rough alignment. Fine tuning is accomplished in the web config menu using the digital image shift and lens adjustment. The first step in configuration is to adjust the lens correctly. This is done using the lens control menu item. Here, in a series of distinct steps, we can adjust the zoom and focus. I'll do that now. First the zoom. Then I adjust the focus. Now in order to obtain the sharpest possible image, I enlarge the picture, choose a point in the background of the picture, click on the precision adjustment and fine-tune the picture. Now I see that the objects in the background of the picture are also in focus and I can rest assured that the same perfect clarity applies for the entire picture. In the next step, we have to optimize the picture alignment. We can do this quite easily with the digital image shift function. Here we have the option of shifting the picture to the right, the left, up or down. Previously we made a rough alignment directly at the camera and now we can move and alter the image further from the comfort of our PC. I am moving the image down a good way because the image area I am mainly interested in is the garden. Now I move a little bit to the right to include the important parts of the patio in the recording as well. So you can see how far I can shift and adjust the picture just from the PC. It is very important to save this position, otherwise the picture will return to its default setting. Now we move on to the next item, the privacy zones. In the privacy zones I can define up to four zones. With these zones I can easily hide private residents that must not be captured in the picture. In this case, I have identified two zones and I have also activated them. I confirm everything with OK. Our configuration is now saved and we go back to the Live button to resume showing our preview video. Now that we have superb image quality from our HD IR camera in daylight, we also want to check the pictures that are taken by night and at the same time configure the infrared illumination of our camera. To do this, I have already logged on to the web config menu for my HD IR camera. Now I go to the video item followed by sensor. There I find the day-night tab where we can configure our infrared illumination individually. In the default or standard setting, the spot variant is pre-selected. But you can also select user-defined and then adjust individually the power of the wide LEDs and the spot LEDs. I'm going to turn the wide LEDs off completely. In the preview image on the left we saw the wide range LEDs on the side for the lighting the entire scene have been switched off and we only have the spot LED which lights up even the deepest background area. Since the wide range LEDs are of primary importance for the scene we switch them back on again. In order to avoid overexposing the picture in the beginning we adjust the power of our spot LED. 
In this case, I will switch the spot LED off completely. I confirm this again with OK. And there are no more bright beams of light in the picture, just a uniformly lit image, as it should be. So you can see how easy it is to configure our IR camera in darkness.